again to what the preacher said. Here is another message from Pastor Claudius Morgan straight from the Word of God. Pastor Morgan answers the question, what makes God so great? He begins by saying that the greatness of God is seen in many things. When we read the creation story and think of all that God did during that week, we can see his greatness. The sky with the sun, the moon, and the stars reflects a great God. Only a great God could create in such a great way. Psalm 19 verse 1 tells us that the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament showeth his handiwork. The sky with those large bodies, all the things of nature, those wonderful things of nature, they show a God who is creative, a God who is awesome, a God who is great. God's greatness is also seen in the fact that he knows just what we need and he has provided it all in the world he created. In Psalm 8 verse 4, the psalmist David asks God, But why is man important to you? Why do you take care of human beings? You made him a little lower than the angels and you crowned him with glory and honor. God created a wonderful world with all that we need and then placed Adam and Eve in it. So he is a God of order. He does everything in harmony and in order. He is a great God. God's greatness is seen in his son Jesus. Although he is God, high and lifted up, he still came to this earth to die for us and save us. The preacher said that God loves us. God seeks to do all he could to save us. The preacher spoke about letters which were written to God's people. One of these letters is found in Revelation chapter 3. In verses 19 and 20, he says, I correct and punish those whom I love. So be eager to do right. Change your hearts and live. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he will eat with me. So boys and girls, God wants to be our best friend. He wants us to let him into our hearts so he can change our hearts so that we can live good lives. And he is just there waiting for us to let him in. Would you let Jesus into your heart today? Would you allow him to become king of your life? Just pray this prayer with me. Father in heaven, you are a great God. I thank you for the sacrifice that was made to save me. Please come into my heart and change my life, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, Jesus is coming soon and he is coming for those of us who recognize the greatness of God and allow him to come into our hearts. I don't wanna be left out. I don't wanna be left out. I don't wanna be left out. Out of the kingdom of God.